Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, let us meditate on the Gospel of John, chapter 6 and verse number 44. And Jesus said, No one can come to me unless the Father who has sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. God our heavenly Father, we come to you to seek words of wisdom speak to us lord so that your words would touch our heart help us to grow in the knowledge to understand you and deepen our intimacy with you therefore holy spirit rest upon us holy spirit guide us holy spirit possess us in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen now just to share a brief background about this passage Jesus made this statement when some of his disciples were leaving him and we need to know that when we say some of the disciples that there would be a confusion because we read that Jesus had 12 disciples and the confusion is did Jesus have more than 12 disciples we need to know that Jesus sent disciples two by two on two occasions to preach teach the good news first he sent 12 disciples two by two and then he sent 72 disciples two by two and among the 72 many of them left jesus now why the disciples left jesus now we need to know that jesus is the word of god and the word became flesh the people were confused because jesus said i am the bread that came down from heaven now flesh is symbolic of life force and eternal values that God gives to those who believes in Christ Jesus and follows his morals now let us understand the three points from this passage point number 1 the people lack in belief we need to know that the disciples heard the message despite that they still continued to follow jesus and following jesus means following the word of god in the beginning jesus had 12 disciples and he was left with 12 disciples the life of the disciples were not that easy they would have been surrounded by doubts and confusion but still they continued to follow jesus and though they might have been confused Over time they learned what is the meaning of what Jesus said. When we are surrounded by situations, circumstances, challenges in life, we also ask questions like God why such things are happening to us? We have all kind of questions, why, what, when, how? But when we continue to follow Christ, we find all answers to the questions. In other words, from the spiritual context, we might read the Bible But there are many times we may not understand what is the meaning of that particular verse means in our lives. But when we continue to read the Bible, we will learn and understand the meaning because God will lead us through experiences by which we would learn what the meaning of that particular verse means in our lives. That means when we are reading the word of God, we will find the answer to every questions. Hebrews chapter 5:12 mentions, "By now you should be teachers." Now who are the teachers? Teachers are they who have answers. If I have to teach someone to drive a car, I need to be perfected in driving and I also need to know the traffic rules. And once I know all the rules and to drive the car, I would be able to teach a person how to drive a car. The disciples stayed with Jesus and the more they stayed with Jesus, the more they found answers to every question. And once we find answers for every questions, there is no room for confusion. Point number 2 they left Jesus the people left Jesus because it was hard for them to understand the teachings of Jesus but we read that the disciples remained with Jesus and the more they remained with Jesus they became more and more like him but we read that Judas was a traitor Judas had a love for money and had Judas confessed it to the Lord Lord Jesus would have healed him 
of his deceitfulness during youth retreats many youth have a lot of questions and many commonly said we are trying to get rid of smoking and drinking some personally came and spoke to me and said they're battling with thoughts of lust and even pornography and that leads to infatuation and they said they feel guilty i told them you feel guilty because you love jesus and you don't want to live in that filth anymore next time when you are battling with that situation go on your knees and say holy spirit i am tempted to get into these filth but i pray help me and rescue me and let me assure you that the youth who prayed this prayer succeeded in overcoming their temptations In Matthew 22:14 it is mentioned for many are called but few are chosen. Let me explain it to you. Say for example there is a vacancy in an organization for a particular post and the organization places the ad in the newspaper. So for one post there would be thousands of application but among the thousands of application few would be shortlisted. but the shortlisted candidate doesn't mean that they are chosen though they would be called for the interview but only one person among the shortlisted candidate would be selected that means only few are shortlisted but one is chosen so the people who follow jesus are the ones who are chosen and the ones who are chosen will never want to leave jesus the third point is they found the teachings hard to understand we need to know that the people who followed jesus they followed jesus as long as their bellies were satisfied and they came searching for him only for food and jesus told them i have not come to give you the physical bread when you need but i have come to make known i am the messiah the savior to save you from sins but as long as jesus performed miracles the people followed him but the moment jesus started to preach and teach the word of god they started to leave him it is quite common that many people attend the church service but when the priest starts to preach either the people sleep or their minds are transported to another world most people attend the church to mark their attendance then to listen to the word of god in this passage we read that jesus said eat my flesh and drink my blood i was trying to find the synonym for eat and the synonym for eat is partake and the synonym for partake is to participate engage or take part we follow jesus as long as our lives are filled with miracles but the moment jesus gives us the cross to carry we run away from him Here we need to understand what is the meaning of carrying the cross. I can cite an example with a story. A new teacher was appointed in a school and the very first day was not a grand welcome for her because the children welcomed her by throwing papers on her. She was a bit taken aback and she even was soaked in tears. But despite all that she continued to teach and over time the children became friendly because they found that she was quite different to the other teachers but among them was a guy named Polly now Polly was a boy who came from a dysfunctional family he was rebellious he was aggressive you name them and on account of it no students sat with him even the teachers disliked him and he chose to sit at the corner of the class alone on that bench this teacher tried to approach him but he avoided her one day the teacher was in the market and she found polly coming from the other end and he had a stick in his hand and he was swinging it the moment he saw the class teacher he just turned away and took another route but the teacher followed him then the teacher called his name but he did not turn back then the teacher patted on his back but he got so violent that he threw the stick on the teacher's face and that caused a wound on her forehead and the blood was oozing out profusely now polly saw blood for the first time and he was stunned and shocked not knowing what to do now after a while the people saw this woman bleeding and just polly standing in front unable to help the people came to her rescue at that time even the police came and when the police came 
Polly was even more scared. The police inquired the cause for the injury and the teacher replied that she fell down and it was Polly and all these people who helped her. Now this brought a change in heart for Polly. Polly went with the teacher to the doctor and the doctor nursed the wound. Polly during these days took care of the teacher and tried to offer the best help possible. And the teacher taught him some good values. And during these couple of weeks, he experienced the motherly warmth for the first time. And over time, at home, he remained very quiet. He did everything under the guidance of the teacher. Every time the parents quarreled with each other, he remained quiet. Now when the parents found a change in him and the peace on his face, their lives also changed. And there was peace in the house of Polly from there on. Now what I want to say is this, all that the teacher did was spread the love and love became contagious. It's very true, when we smile at somebody, people will smile back at us. And we can smile when we have the joy in our heart and we can find joy only when we follow our Lord Jesus Christ. And once we have the joy in our heart when we follow Jesus, that joy can never be taken away. And over time, the joy in following the Lord Jesus Christ will erase all doubts, apprehensions and questions. God bless you all. Have a great day in Jesus name. Amen.